The ongoing conflict in Libya and the Middle East has caused the price of oil to jump to a two-year high to $112 a barrel. And the increase can be felt at the pump here in the U.S. with the average price for a gallon uh, now at $3.75 as of this morning. So joining us now is the chief oil analyst for Oil Price Information Service, Tom Closa. Uh, Tom, good to see you. Thanks for nice coming in here. here. Um, that $3.75 is new as of this morning, just jumped from $3.74. Crude oil price is at a two-and-a-half-year high. Uh, t- does does the does the conflict or what's happening in the Middle East does that need to stop or at least significantly simmer down before we see oil prices go back down again? Well, I think the market has made the adjustment right now in the call that we're not going to see any Libyan production of any significance for a long time, and and it's important. But you know, the world can make the adjustment. Uh, so now I think we're seeing prices rise not so much because of Libya or because of the threat of some more problems in the Arab Spring or even because of supply and demand, but just purely momentum and money. That's what's driving it these days. And speaking of spending that money, as we move from spring into summer here, we talk about uh, gas being at 375 a gallon right now. Do you see it increasing significantly as we move through the summer? Uh, well, it's really easy to look at for the next couple of weeks. We're going to go up some more. I, I raised my forecast yesterday to 375 to $4.00. Good thing I raised it to 375 since today we're there. Uh, <laughs> well and, done, sir. Yes, and uh, you know, yeah, I feel like I should be a Wall Street <laughs> stock analyst with that. But uh, I think I don't think we're going to see the four to five dollar numbers that you'll hear uh, almost on the apocalyptic side. We're starting to see demand destruction. We're starting to see people spend money less inside of restaurants to go out less. Uh, and for the typical consumer who, let's say, got the break from the uh, 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 the lower tax on uh, the payroll, uh, most of it is gone now. Most of it has gone away to pay for oil or gasoline. But you don't think $5 is coming anytime soon? No, I, I think we could see $5 a gallon, but I think $5 a gallon would probably take something happening in Saudi Arabia or, or the Persian Gulf. And if you wake up in the morning and you hear that uh, there's unrest or it's just incredible chaos in Saudi Arabia, you can extrapolate almost abstract prices for where prices could go. Uh, we, we, we talk about where prices potentially could go because we could talk about what's happening in the Middle East. Anything else affecting prices right now and anything people can do if they're trying to save money? Well, the biggest thing that's Im- impacting prices right now is investment money. There's a lot of money coming into markets. There's a lot of money that's going propping up the stock market, a lot of money that's being invested in oil and all commodities. For people to save money, the first thing I always suggest is conservation. There's always somewhere where you're wasting gas or you're not consolidating trips. Uh, There are some uh, oil companies that have pretty lucrative rebate cards where you can get back 3% or more on gasoline. It works out to almost 12 cents a gallon these days. You can look to see if your supermarket has a program uh, with a gasoline company where you can get money back on gasoline there. And generally, think about when you make your next purchase of a car, that we're, if we don't see $5 this year, we will see it at least for a moment of time this decade. Tom Closa, thanks very much. Nice to good be to here. see you.